Luckily, we've got it all rounded up for you here, plus the weekend to look forward to as well. What's coming up there? Only Liverpool and Man City's title tilt. A big preview of all of that in this Totally Football show. Sunday afternoon, and how about this for a grand finale of what's been a pretty special week. Liverpool taking on Man City, the top two in the Premier League. The team that has essentially redefined our ideas of Premier League perfection against the only side that can, I guess, hope to challenge them right now and is indeed six points clear of them right now. It's their second meeting of the season. City took the Community Shield on penalties. This time around, though, as I mentioned, they are trailing and they haven't scored at Anfield in three of their past four league visits. Well, this has become a very modern rivalry. There wasn't, I guess, a huge amount of backstory between these two teams until the Mancini and, and Pellegrini uh, titles. And of course you had the, 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 the whole season when Liverpool thought that their, their years of waiting for the title was going to come to an end. And it all went wrong with the slip against Chelsea and Christian Bull and that. And it was City who took the title. And now you have this remarkable situation where City have effectively just redefine what we expect of a of a brilliant Premier League team and there's only one other outfit who come anywhere close and it's Liverpool and for the last well certainly last season uh, they, they've just been so close and, and yet City have always had that edge and maybe this time it's no longer the case but they're almost existing in a league of their own at the moment. You can't win the Premier League title in November but can you lose it etc and so on? Yeah I mean you can lose it um all the time, James. Right. Uh, May, uh, so okay. you can lose it there. It depends how close it is. But what of do course... you think about this weekend? <laughs> I think it's quite interesting that if you think about some of the best periods in Premier League history, it's been when two teams have been kind of a cut above the rest. You had Newcastle United in the 90s, then Arsenal United, and then Chelsea and Arsenal, and various different teams. I think this is kind of, you know, testament to how good these two teams are at the moment. I don't think right now there is a better side than Liverpool or Man City in Europe. I really, I really think so. I think Bayern are in crisis, just like their manager. I think Juventus are still a work in motion under, under Sarri. And in Spain, Real Madrid are, are slow right now, and Barca are not playing great either, despite having Messi. At PSG, I, don't, I still think I'm, I'm way below those two teams. So yeah, I think, I think they are the best two teams in Europe. And, and yeah, the, the winner for me, you know, could be, could be certainly dubs the current best team in the world. It's huge excitement all over Europe, certainly in Germany, because of the, uh, the clock factor, but also Guardiola having worked so successfully at Bayern is, is still a big name, and everyone's really looking forward to that sort of battle of the, the minds. Guardiola's seen as the preeminent innovator uh, in football over the last, well, since Arrigo Sacchi, if you like, and Klopp, so charismatic. I think the coach that every fan base would like to be on the sideline representing their team, who also seems to have the kryptonite mm. uh, to Pep Guardiola. And these teams just don't drop any points, they hardly lose any games, uh, they have a frightening ability to change things around. I have a suspicion that uh, City will win this game at Anfield. I think they will break the uh, that unbeaten record that uh, Liverpool have there. I, I still think Sterling at this, at this moment in time is in such a rich vein of form. He can do pretty much anything. Uh, he can play as he, he can do what he wants uh, at the moment in time. So there aren't many teams in Europe that have better players and better functioning collectives as those two sides. So to see them come up against each other with a commitment to attacking football is it's just amazing. Do you share Pat uh, James's faith that City are going to claw back three fat points on the leaders? Um, no, um, a slight fear for City in this one. Um, I'm a Silva fan, I'll admit, complete mm, bias. Which one? David. Um, and I think he's just he's just amazing, amazing player. So he's not available. You've got problems in defence. We all know about that as well. To be fair, I mean, I adore City and I love the way they play football, but I'm not sure that they're, they're at their best at the moment. It's when you least expect it. Yeah. So last year, I think this was one of the most defensively impressive games we saw in the Premier League all season. But I think both teams have regressed. Uh, since then defensively, so I'm expecting both to try and go out and score. If you think back to this fixture last season, which was in October, um, both teams were defending brilliantly. They'd hardly let any, in any goals all season. It's not That's not the case now. I think we could be looking at one of the games we saw from the previous season, like in the Champions the League. The 4-3? Where possibly, yeah. Do, do you think that? That's, I think that's, that's brilliant. That's exactly where this game will last. Klopp, does he go out and try and play Liverpool style? Uh, Guardiola's lost seven times against Klopp, which is more than he has against any other manager, and it is because Liverpool do play full out against City. 
or whoever. There's something we'll have to give and uh, Liverpool I think slightly better position, the draw might be considered okay for them but at the same time um, they know that uh, they don't get too many chances to put real ground between themselves and City, they better take it. My fear is that we get another draw where both teams think first not losing before winning. Uh, I would love it to be completely wrong and see like a 4 3 win for whoever. I have no idea what's going to happen. I think the one thing that I would be fairly confident of is that while we have seen some big games where the pressure of the occasion, the desire not to lose, means that the game never really catches fire. I think whatever happens, however many goals are scored, it's going to be intense. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. 0 0 at Anfield last time. But a brilliant 0 <laughs> 0. So rich in drama, so rich in narrative. Mm. And that's what I, that's what I ride for.